This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. If you're interested in these products, check the links in the description. Wafer paper. In this video, we're talking about edible wafer paper, particularly the potato starch kind. There's actually a couple of different varieties of wafer paper, and we're talking about this stuff. It comes in basically uh, paper, letter paper sized sheets, so they'll actually fit in your printer. So if you have an edible image printer uh, with food coloring ink, you can actually send these through. They're flexible, but not as flexible as the edible image sheets, and you can see it's just one large printable area. So you will have to cut out your shapes, which is a little tedious. The print quality won't be quite as great. And if the printer is a uh, kind of a front feed where it has to pull it in, flip it over and spit it out the same direction, it probably will break this. You can get away using these if you're using a back feed printer because it's a much softer angle that you can see it can kind of handle. When you get these, if you've opened a package, we keep it double, triple wrapped in plastic wrap to make sure that we keep that little bit of moisture so the pages remain flexible and don't dry out um, so that it'll last for a long time. And its primary ingredient is potato starch, so it really doesn't have much of a taste. And there's a couple of different ways you can use it and color it. You can cut it with scissors into shapes. You can use your X-Acto knife if you're looking to do an odd or unique shape. Or you can just do what a lot of people do, which is use a variety of craft punches. And you can see it's very easy then to cut out precise, clean edge shapes. And a lot of times I use things like this when I'm doing flower petals. You can actually use cookie cutters as well to cut out shapes. So you can use these to make a kind of like a faux gum paste flower. And there's a couple of different ways you can color the wafer paper. A lot of times I just like a little bit of soft color. So I'll use things like petal dust or luster dust just to tap along there and I'm going to use a little more just so it gets a little darker and you can see I'm doing this over a paper towel so it'll just catch the excess and you can kind of start a couple at once and you can go light or dark but you can see it just kind of taps and makes a nice diffuse color on there. There's other things like edible food pins that you can use as well. So especially if you want darker or you want to do something like trim the edges, you can even go in and add details with food pins. So you can do drawings on these and then place them on cakes or place them on cookies. And you can use things like uh, gum glue or royal icing to attach things. That's kind of up to you. But wafer paper is one of those things that's fun to play around with. It's great for making really delicate flowers with. I like making things like ranunculus out of it because it gives me really thin petals that are almost kind of translucent. So you can kind of do a lot there and you can do a lot with coloring it as well. And there's a lot you can play around with. So it's just a versatile tool. It's relatively inexpensive for a pack of a hundred and you'll get a lot out of it. I can make a ton of flowers out of this pack and it's taking me a while to go through it. So it's something that is relatively shelf stable can be stored as long as it's wrapped really well for a long time and it has a lot of versatile uses and there's a lot of different tools that you can use uh, to create different and more complex creations with it so overall it's something that I love keeping in stock in the studio if you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about the cake decorating materials and equipment we use or just some inspirational videos about cake decorating itself you can follow us on insta or youtube at cake decorating school if you'd like to know more about yearly membership and what it entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check the links in the description.